it costs a lot of scrap. Hey everybody, my name is Drew, owner of Connoisseur Concentrates and inventor of Mr. Extractor. We've had a lot of questions as to how long it takes for Mr. Extractor to operate. Some people just flat out don't believe us. I figured the simplest way was to show you a live demonstration of how long it takes for the machine to operate and fully recover. The best way for me to do that is to allow you to watch this thing recover with no material inside of it so you can see the butane level rise in here as it recovers passively. Now, it's a little bit difficult for me to show everything in one frame, being that I will have to be behind the machine and you want to see the machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand up back here, get my head cut off, and you guys can watch this thing recover. I'm going to do my best to do this in one live take so that there's no interruptions, so that you can see it time for time how long it takes. In our previous videos, you watched us use Power 5 and easily accessible butane and not vacuum the system. We've upgraded the system to include a vacuum port. We have the unit vacuum down right now, just using a simple, inexpensive vacuum pump. We've also got some laboratory grade butane here. It comes with an adapter that we purchased that we were able to fill the device up with. So right now we have a vacuum down device full of laboratory grade butane. What I'm going to do is to show you how long it takes to recover this full amount of butane in the device with nothing in it. Normally you would recover your butane up into the top chamber, but you can't really launch that on camera. So what I've done is I've taken all the butane here, moved it through here, and now it's down in the bottom. What I'm going to do is open this valve, which is open now, open the back valve, add hot water down here, it's going to gas up, recover into a liquid, and drop down in here. We can time this to show you how long it takes to recover. Being that I'm going to try to do this in one take, there'll be some interruptions. It's going to be a long video, but I think that's the fairest way to show this occur. So I've already got the top pretty chill. I'm going to add some hot water down here in the bottom, and then I'm going to slowly open the back valve. That gas is going to go up here, we condense, and start gathering in here. I'm going to go ahead and start a timer here, that way you guys can watch. Start with adding my hot water here. Then I'm going to open up the back valve. As you can see, it's recovering pretty fast now. I'm going to move and zoom this in so you can watch it. What you're seeing is the butane recovering thermally with no pumps. The reason the device is smoking more is it's accepting the heat from the bottom, going up to the top, burning off that dry ice. Some of our clients have uh, been tinkering around with the machine and figuring out some accelerated ways to recover the solvent. They've been reporting a three quarter recovery tank recovery in about four minutes. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, alcohol on the top. So the water in the bottom is not cold. I'm going to drain that water out and add some more hot water.
If you'll notice, the recovery slowed down a little bit. It's only dripping right now. When I add some hot water, it's gonna greatly speed it up. Right now we're at about 3 minutes 43 seconds, we've recovered about 3 quarters of that tank. So the same thermodynamic principle that we use on Mr. Extractor is the principle that we use on our larger units. The larger unit has quite a bit of upgrades compared to Mr. Extractor. It has vacuum ports, it is ported for active and passive, has condensing coils in it, stainless steel column, comes standard, the bottom's water jacketed, a few more upgrades. Uh, interchangeable column size, you'll be able to run 2 to 4 pounds, 4 to 6 pounds, and 6 to 12 pounds in that unit. Our 3 pound prototype that we're running right now recovers 90% of its solvent in 45 minutes, and that's not with all the upgrades that we're going to be including on the next side of Mr. Extractor. No fake shit. Shaking so damn amazing. I'm playing, she be just practicing. She cute when she be laughing. I'm hot, she not. Five eyes and then I hear a high spot. She go, don't So, right now, our bottleneck is that our hot water isn't hot enough. No big deal. The cold's working good. I'm running out of warm water because I'm doing it in here, not close to the source of hot water. Right now, we're running about five minutes and we've almost fully recovered this tank. So, let me back this off for a minute. We're cheating a little bit. We're running water that is a little warmer than we would when we were covering an oil because we don't want to darken the oils. And this upper unit holds a little bit more than this. It holds about 1.25 compared to this. So I would probably add another five or 10 minutes onto this, uh, realistic. But you can see that thermally, we've recovered the entire volume of this chamber in about five minutes, maybe six minutes. Um, when you're operating your machine, you can expect recovery times of 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. But the fact is, is that you can have similar times recovering thermally than you can with an active system without all the problems of active systems. Contamination, um, high pressurization, worn out seals. It's a lot going on in those things. So I'm just going to call it here. Uh, we've recovered that full column in about five minutes. That's how fast the machine works. You'll be able to fully soak your extract, do an extraction, and fully recover that thing probably in about 10 minutes. Um, average time that we're seeing is about 15 to 20, but some of our users, like I said, have been really getting it fast and been getting it down in four or five minutes as well. You can expect these, uh, excuse me, you can expect these same results in our larger units that are coming out, and they're going to be actually faster. We figured out ways to actually accelerate the recovery process quite a bit beyond what this guy's doing. So, if you're interested, start out with this one. When you're ready, go up to the big ones. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, uh, stay tuned and we'll update you with more stuff. No fake shit. Her ass shaking so damn amazing. I'm playing, she be just practicing. She cute when she be laughing. I'm hot. She not. Five eyes and then I hear a high spot. She go, don't wait.
with her hair go back. What's the time, bitch? Look at my watch. Go all and that motherfucking glock. Chuck Titus, motherfucker, yeah, I rock. So much weed on that fucking block. Pop the molly, motherfucker, don't stop.